back. It seems I run a 245, which is a little wider tire, might not need as much camber. But um, I, I, I found that 26, 25, 24 is kind of the sweet spot in the back. So there's one wear in the rear quite as much as the camber, maybe the camber is the front. Right? So yeah. On the street. And the tires don't, if you're going to street drive the car, you know, you're not going to track it. I wouldn't run much more than a couple degrees wide. You know, I mean, for street driving, you might as well get tire work. You know, on it. Yes? On your inner stream method here, is the track from front to rear is different? What's the effect of it? Oh, it is different. All I want to be able to do is have the strings off the car. The, the, the track in this car so is a lot. measure something. Yeah. Yeah, the track is a lot wider in the back. Here it is. I don't know how much wider it's an inch or two. Or, yeah. 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 You, this is only to compare left to right. On the front. I'm saying Give me a dimension. Right. That's all I care about with mine. Now, Andy's method is, you know, once this is set up, and we can put it on this car just to show you, but is, you could actually get tow measurements. You could measure here, here. And here, here. If if this measurement is two millimeters more than this one, this you have you have two millimeters of toe on this wheel and four total. And then you could even you would even it out. If this had two and the other one had one, you had three. You want one and a half in each. But okay, Tom and then a question. I run minus two and a quarter uh, scamper on the back of my NZ. And after fifteen thousand miles of wear on the same tire, cars out there you can see how much wear difference there is. scales and slip plates, and it's funny, and Jack alerted to me this, this wheel here with weight in it goes positive. In other words, we have, we just measured that we have about 2.5 here. When Chinoo sits in it, it goes to 2.4. That wheel has 2.4. When he sits in it, it goes to 2.5. So this wheel adds negative camber, this subtract. You have to do it with ballast in the car. Either what I do in my lower garage, I just got weights sitting there. So I basically, I weight the car, and then if you're doing it on the floor and you don't have slip plates, you jack it up, you push shims out, don't forget to lock type, do all the other things you have to do. But then what you do is you got to roll the car back and forth before you measure it. Because if you just let the car down on the concrete, the suspension is now relaxed, and the wheels are going to be jacked, they're going to be more straight up, you're not going to get an accurate reading. So if you make a camber adjustment, you jack it up, you put it on the floor, you got to roll it back 15 or 20, roll it out of, in and out of the garage a couple times. I ran over my foot um, at 3 in the morning a few weeks ago. You know, I was tired and I screwed up, I had to reset, and I was rolling the car back and forth, and my garage, my lower garage is kind of a slope coming into it, and I pushed it up the garage, and as the car rolled back, I rolled, I rolled over my foot. <laughs> I was limping around a few days, but uh, be careful. Um, question about the Dallas also related to the left and right camera. Mm -hmm. um, I saw a car with all the shim plates out the front um, with the guy in the car. Mm -hmm. The, the uh, camera on the left and right the same. So I don't see that now. The, the, the spec that will happen, these cars aren't, yeah, it, it's rarely you'll have a car that you'll have the same amount of shims on both sides and the readings will be the same, especially with ballast in them. It, it's rare. Um, so are you looking to then put a shim to the back to see if you do it, or do you kind of get them all out? Well, you know, it depends on where you're at on it. If you have, like, Schnoo's arms, so you've got all of this adjustment, I, I would go for the optimum setting. You know, and if you, uh, on it, uh, not worry if it's two shims or three, you just get, get the setting. Now, if you're in a situation with stock arms, I would rather, if I got 
0.8 on one side and 0.6 on the other, I'll take an 8 and a 6, then I will two sixes. You know, so it, it depends what, what, you, what you've got on it. You know, because uh, you, with the stock arms, it's hard to get, again, uh, without milling them or using uh, an aftermarket on it. There's no other No, no, there isn't. You know, it's take the shims, put, put them in, put them out. And again, the factory manual that we gave you is really a step-by-step -step on that. It's, it's a, it is a typical promise to be off. What? Is it, is it a typical promise to be off? Well, no, I mean, the factory spec is two-tenths of a degree. Most manufacturers, you know, a port are a half a degree side to side. But, I mean, you want to get as close as you can. I mean, the other option, too, is, is Chenu had, which is nice, most of the shims change what a quarter degree is that what they are yeah, well, yeah. it's about a quarter of a degree per shim they're one millimeter shims Chenu also has half millimeter shims so you're talking you know um oh i don't know a little over a tenth of a degree you know or an eighth of a degree on it so um you want to get them as close i mean we screwed around with jack's car i went and bought shim stock ten thousandths of an inch thick so, <laughs> so all right, Jack's car, we got to within a hundredth of a degree. I mean, does, it, does it make a difference? No, but that's Jack. Um, <laughs> it's all up in the head, man. It's mental. It's all mental. Yeah. When you say Dallas, are you trying to replicate the driver? Yes. The driver Your right? weight with clothes. You want it to be like fuel and driver about yeah, I, what it's going to be when you Right. Yeah, the, the, what the factory will tell you is both sides, but I mean, you don't want to do it for that because you're only concerned about uh, yourself on it. And the other thing, I forget, Glenn? Uh, I was just going to say, quick question, Jack, to see if you've got your camera right. Do you see what the hot sauce is like in the thread in the part of the car? It's like that open garage. And if I've got some ethical dust, huh. I know what the dust is. It's pretty basic. I mean, you're a sick guy. <laughs> you need help. You need help. We all do. Like you're a special case. <laughs> oh, that's good. No, that's good. We need dust on the side of the tire. No, no the, 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 the printer so, makes in the tape. It'll be clean. It'll be clean. If you wash your car and you have to drive it, and if you come back to the garage, where your wear pattern is on the tread is going to show you the roll. Exactly. I actually caught it. Don't even give you a hard I time. We have class here. No, this, class. Is, this, is, this is a good one. This is how I figured out, I figured out my camera said I didn't ballast my car. And something kept bugging me about my car. And I noticed that I had about a half inch more dirt or tread wear on the inside shoulders than the other tire. And I started thinking and thinking and thinking what to do is exactly what Carl said. Put away in there. It screws the camera up on both sides. I checked it with a, a gauge. I was in fact off. I pulled one shim. I've got one shim less on one side than I have on the other. I drove the car. Now when I pull it to my garage, I've got symmetrical wear patterns on both tires. It's a pretty easy check. You know, it's not bulletproof. It's not totally accurate. It's going to tell you whether your car is tracking evenly the camera when you're driving. I got to look at that shoe when it ran over my foot. <laughs> see, see how you know, the trend was. <laughs> you, can't, you, can't, you can't give Greg too much of a hard time because he became like this after come, going to oh, yeah, house, was up, yeah, that I seminar love two years ago. I, I love it. We've talked to yeah. You created it. Yeah, and he's got some. Take some dust bill trash bag. You can cut it up. Take one. Just cut it before you can Take some excess oil if you have an oil change. You just put a little in there, rub it in, it's really good. Yeah. The other Sorry. thing I've, I've heard of are vinyl floor tiles with grease in between them. <clears throat> 12 by 12 vinyl floor tiles. Because um, what slip plates do, this car we have on, see? The whole car right now is really only supported by the springs. 